COVID pandemic has made it crystal clear that fossil fuel industries will never again be an engine of growth for Canada's economy. The pandemic has highlighted how fast the energy system is transitioning towards renewables. 33,000 jobs disappeared in Canadian fossil fuel industries between 2014 and 2019, and another 20,000 have disappeared during the pandemic. This is the time to move forward with an aggressive, compassionate plan to create jobs and facilitate transitions for fossil fuel workers and the communities where they live. Fossil fuel industries account for a surprisingly small share of total employment in Canada's labour market. Less than 1% of all jobs in Canada are in those industries. So over time, if we set a firm timetable and stick to it, the amount of reductions in employment from the phase out of fossil fuels is actually surprisingly modest, maybe 8,000 jobs per year over a 20 year period. For comparison purposes, Canada's labour market normally produces about 8,000 jobs every 10 days. It seems like a dramatic change to see the gradual phase out of all the jobs in fossil fuel industry. But Canada's experience is full of other examples of industries that declined over time or other industries that grew over time. In the 1901 census, the agriculture sector accounted for over 40% of all employment in Canada. Today, the number is 1.5%. In 1948, at the end of World War II, women made up just 21% of the workforce. Today, it's 48%, almost half. And families and communities, our whole economy are much stronger because of it. We analyzed census data and we found 18 communities in Canada where fossil fuel employment accounts for over 5% of all jobs in that community. One big city, Calgary, and then 17 smaller cities or towns. The good news is that's 18 communities out of the hundreds of communities across the country. And if we make it a national priority, it's totally doable to make the transition fair and reasonable. Some politicians say they're defending fossil fuel workers by trying to delay and deny the inevitable transition away from fossil fuel industries. That's not doing any favor for fossil fuel workers. They're already losing work and their jobs are already being degraded with falling wages, falling health and safety conditions, and automation that replaces fossil fuel workers with machines in order to cut costs for their employers. The best thing to do for fossil fuel workers is recognize that this transition is happening, set a timetable and stick to it, and then give them the supports, the investments, the alternative jobs, and the early retirement incentives that are necessary so this transition can occur in an effective and humane way. Our report reviews the details of how many fossil fuel jobs there are in Canada, how we could transition away from fossil fuels without a painful disruption in our labor market, and 10 principles for how to manage that transition fairly and effectively. Please read our report for more details.